Hey kids. Had enough storms yet? Getting a wake up call, phone ringing, solicitors, everyone say something. People are starting to get desperate. There's a lot of them that aren't going to believe there's a way out of this. There is. Now, I'm just getting on here shortly just to put a message down. Tiny Texas Houses, Salvage Texas. Hey, how you doing? Um, we've been trying to promote this concept for many years about downsizing, simplifying, moving into tiny houses that don't have toxins and imports. Look at this, we got three people already, hey. I don't stay on very long now because I found out by looking at the retention that people stick around for about three or four minutes. So try to get to the point. If you're not paying attention, it's going to get very expensive to ship things really soon. And wood, it ain't getting any cheaper. Don't expect it to. Windows, doors, people are waiting four to six weeks, eight weeks to get them to build a house. And that's the toxic crap. Imports, guess what? Not a good thing to depend on right now. What you need to be depending on is you. Taking care of yourself. Getting healthy. This is an important thing right now. It's more important that you don't have a big house and you have a healthy body than it is having a big house and being stressed out trying to keep it now. There's some changes in the market. Mortgage brokers are not refinancing. In the very near future, you will see many, many people unemployed in the banking business in refinance because the interest rates are changing, which means the value of the property will go down because people can't afford to buy as much. I made millions of dollars in the real estate industry once upon a time when I was younger. I was a real estate broker in Austin. Yeah. In the days when they said, oh, you don't want to be in that part of town. I was in East Austin, now known as French Place. I went in there in 1984 and 1985 and bought houses because the boom went bust. The real estate boom went bust. So I bought houses that were boarded up, crack houses, places where women were turning tricks, whores, and people were fighting pit bulls. $7,500 for a house, 11500 for a little tiny two-bedroom, one-bath house in East Austin, 16 blocks from the capital, but on the wrong side of town. Those illusions of the mind. What's the wrong side of town? Anything east of I-35 in those days, 80% of the real estate agents would tell you, don't buy in East Austin. And I went, Ugh. as a real estate broker and a young guy who was naive, I thought, well, let's just call Housing and Urban Development, get them over here about that S discrimination. And guess what? There was not an inspector for the entire state of Texas. Hey, Ron, glad to see you visit. Um, what I'm going to try to do is explain that if you're going to go into trying to do something now, shipping, transport, cost of everything is going to go up. If you've got savings, now's the time to convert it into assets. Because if you don't, assets are going to be very expensive, like food, very shortly. So if you can convert to assets, do your planting. Get some seeds in the ground, but get them in a place where you can see them mature and grow and harvest. So it's going to happen soon where people's yard is going to be more valuable as a garden than it is as green grass with pesticides on it. You know, like in the neighborhood associations and all the places like that. You don't want to be in that kind of community. You want to be in a kind of community where you can grow some food, have a few chickens, make some eggs, things like that. Let the eggs eat out of the grass and get the bugs. Well, not the wrong, not that kind of grass. Anyway, these are things that everybody's thinking about now. Suddenly, Suddenly, everybody's starting to think about this. Oh, I might need to get a smaller house. Oh, gee, $7 a gallon for heating fuel? Yes, right around the corner. Same as diesel. Same as gas. Anybody for a long winter? 1813 to 1817. Called the, the year with no summer. Too many volcanoes going off. Guess what? We are breaking records this week to go back into the 1800s. Guess what? It ain't going to get better. More volcanoes are going off. 
more earthquakes are happening. The Earth is building up a bunch of energy as it prepares for this next portion of its cycle, which is linked to the Sun and the other planets. For those of you who haven't gone on and become autodidactic after college, which means to continue learning on your own. Automatically keep studying and learning. Otherwise, ding, you don't get more brain cells, mature brain cells, because you don't exercise the brain, the muscle. Stop drinking alcohol and burning up all your brain cells and stopping yourself from producing mature brain cells. Mature brain cells operate at 10 to 100 times the speed of the juvenile brain cells. You've probably burned out if you're a heavy drinker or drugger or whatever by the time you are able to grow the mature ones, which is 49 years old. Same with the ganglion. That's the little connections, the intersections. And when you're young, the, the, the juvenile ones, they got like three outputs. Wow, black, white, and maybe some gray. Get to your 60s, kids. Take care of yourself. If you do, I can assure you, being there already, in fact, almost getting ready to go out of my 60s into my 70s. You need to think about your brain. You need to take care of your vessel. I mean, kid that had broken back, scoliosis. Plenty of reasons to think about this. And as you get older, your mortality becomes more in your face. Remember when you were invulnerable? I do. Ron, I'll bet you do too. Some of these people have not even thought about preparing yet. Somebody's going to save them. Might be God. Might be the rapture. Might be, or you might have to go through the tribulations. Or we already are in the tribulations. Depends on your perspective, what you read. There's other scriptures out there, you know, just in case anybody hadn't looked. There's many scriptures out there. And all of them start with, honor thy vessel. Imagine that. <laughs> you mean honor my vessel? What's that mean? That means try to go ahead and minimize your habits. Try to not drink every day and destroy your brain. Try to not eat sugar and poisons every day to destroy your body. Try to maintain a healthy gut flora so that that's part of your three brains. You have your gut, your heart, and your head. You know that? You have ganglia and neural pathways connecting all three of those things together. Neurons are brain ganglia, our brain, that turns out to be parts of that are also in the heart and also in the intestines. Where you make, when you breathe through your nose, all of your antibodies and all the things you need to fight, anything goes to the back of your nose and gets detected and then your intestines will produce everything you need. Your urine will produce anti-dandruff, anti-fungal agents that'll get rid of athlete's foot, your own urine, because it goes through your nose and says, hey, my body needs this and it produces this. It's called the water of life. Everybody makes fun of it, but actually in most of the world, they make fun of Americans for being so stupid, they don't know that their own body is a miracle. Yeah, i got to consider moving and finding a better signal place. Okay. We all are together. We are all one. It takes all of us to make this planet work. Right. And if we don't, right now, we need a world union of beings as opposed to a world union of corporations and tyrants. That's a problem. Because I can guarantee you, the Ukrainians are not choosing to be in this war themselves. And most of those Russian soldiers, just like when I was in the army as a kid, my dad, you know, the draftees, they weren't exactly wanting to go there. That was not what we wanted to graduate from high school to do. Many of them were only in boot camp for six, eight weeks, ten weeks, twelve weeks. And then in the middle of the jungle and swamp. War is not kind, it is not merciful, it is nothing, ah, absolutely nothing about it that we want to be involved with. We don't want to be at war. In the end, McNamara, actually, one of the men that helped do the black flag that got us into the Vietnam War. Yes, we were tricked. Has anybody ever heard of the USS Liberty? Johnson was in office. One of the pilots, the Israeli pilots that was in a jet that was marked for Egyptians that was told to attack all the jets, Israeli jets, our American ship, the USS Liberty, torpedoed it, tried to sink it. 42, 41 men died, I believe. One of the guys off the ship brought me the book, the USS Liberty, where actually the people in the Navy, admirals, that called Johnson and said, we need to go help. They're sending out an SOS. We've got to help them. And Johnson said, I want to see that ship at the bottom of the sea. Stand back. Stand down. 
Luckily, a Russian frigate showed up, and the jets left. The ship survived. The USS Liberty made it. Guess what? It was set up to make us go into a war with Israel and Egypt. The one pilot who did not attack served prison time to keep him quiet until just recently. The last few years, he got out of prison for not firing on an American vessel in order to drag us into a war. I grew up in Bolivia. At four years old, five years old, six years old, my dad went out there, took pictures, and if you were not on the proper team, your local dam might blow up or something else might happen. But that was the USA. That was my daddy. And others. And they did it for patriotism. They did it for America. They did it for all the wrong reasons, but they were young and idealistic. Propaganda is really heavy right now, kids. Don't believe it. If you believe that Oswald pulled that trigger and shot the president as a lone gunman in the window, then this is all going to seem like conspiracy to you. If you think two buildings can collapse at the speed they did without falling sideways and without a lot of things happening that should have happened to the Twin Towers, then you probably should be off this right now because there's a second story. You ought to listen to it sometime. And for these people that don't understand that fluoride is a poison, if you put it in your mouth, it will destroy your pineal gland, that little tiny gland the size of your fingertip. A smaller pea. It's supposed to say soft. If you use fluoride toothpaste and do sublingual and sublabial applications of a poison into your body, two or three times a day, as a child especially, on the back of that tube of toothpaste, it says, if your baby has more than one serving at one time in his mouth and eats it, call the poison department. Look at your toothpaste, people. If you haven't read Crest or any of these others, it's got poison in it. And it dulls your senses. It makes you unable to contact spirit. It makes you unable to produce melatonin at night. Melatonin is what reduces inflammation. It allows your brain to flush out the lymph fluids. And to be healthy, it allows you to reduce inflammation so you can get over sickness and illness and heal. It allows you to sleep and dream deep so that you will have a strong, long attention span the next day. So that you'll be able to keep, kind of keep up with the world as it changes dramatically fast. And what most people don't understand is we've had more science on our genetics, on our health, on what it takes to grow, be smart, and age wonderfully well. In the last five years, we've learned more than we learned in the entire 60 years I was alive prior to that. Now, fortunately, I study every day. A couple hours, like you're supposed to. Two, three hours a day. Perpetual schooling. You can study... At, at universities online for free. Just watch their instructors give lectures. If you're not doing that, if you're la la lazy, lazy brained, understand this, as you get older and you're working on those little juvenile neurons, you will have vague memory. That means you will have vague recall, which means you will not have what you need to be astute, to have the perspicuity the acuity of perception, perspective, and ability to take advantage of the synchronicities. The things that happen, that if it's seen correctly, it's a blessing. And if it's seen incorrectly, it appears like, oh my God, somebody's taking advantage of me, it's a curse. Oh my God, they're crazy. Because you don't have the perspective, the wits, the brain cells, the background, the ability to think abstract. You might have destroyed your memory using a computer instead for memory device instead of your brain. If you did, and you go to Wikipedia instead of your brain to cross-reference and make sure a fact is a fact, then you go to Wikipedia and says, all elephants are pink. You've never seen an elephant. What are you going to think? It's true. Wikipedia is not truth. It is not your mind, your memory, your ability to operate. It does not mean going to Google every time to get an answer because they give you the wrong answer and you don't have anything in your head to check it you're going to believe it like BLM is a good organization or Antifa is a good organization those are stupid things that people believe because they read the wrong things and don't have the good sense 
to look at what they did. Now, peaceful demonstration, I'm all for it. There wasn't anything even close to peaceful. Now, there is. And what are we going to do? Ignore it? So you're going to tell me that in America you have to have violence and burning of businesses to get attention and it's okay because your vice president and others will help bail you out so you can go out and do it again at the next city? But it's wrong if peaceful Americans, families, go to protest. That's wrong? No. Stop letting the media mix everybody up and ignore the important things and distract everybody with the bullshit. That's what that is. Pay attention. While you're watching the left, the right might move. And in this case, the right is China. And I guarantee you, between the two, they got a much larger population. They could send in 100 soldiers for every one of ours. And we lose. Think about that. Please. If we decide to go to war, from what I'm seeing of the young kids in our country, bunch of soft teddy bears. The U.S. military can't even get enough fit young men to fill the ranks now. And that was before the last two years. That was before all the other things we've done to destroy the human body. So, I'm about done. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for visiting. Basement grow room, good. And you're in Iowa. You might be able to not have people bother you. There's so many people right now that are going to be getting offline in the sense that you don't need to be online all the time using up our time. I do it too. I communicate with you guys. I write all the time. I try to get the word out how to build these places out of salvage. I won't be doing it much longer. You won't be able to afford to ship anything at the price of gas going up. Seven and a half dollars I saw today in some places. Seven and a half bucks a gallon. And it's going to eight or nine? Or 10? The barrel, $130 a barrel, that's a record price and it's not even over with yet. Now, oil's got its problems, but I guarantee you what? You don't got it, you got bigger problems. And right now, when you go out to buy from terrorists, you go out to buy from the, the craziest prince in the world, on the earth, ever, Saudi Arabia. You can go down to Maduro, after you've been battling and trying to crush their economy as America has done for the last few years, and now you can go buy oil from them? This looks like a reverse in policy. This looks like an OG, oh, let's cripple America. At some point, you're all gonna wake up. You're gonna see what you did, what you let happen. Well, we all let happen because we're peaceful. And it's gonna change. It's up to the people and not corporations who have no heart, who have no brain, who have no right to be a persona. In my opinion, that was the greatest mistake America ever made was to give the corporations humanity. So go ahead. Try to give them a lobotomy. When's the last time a corporation went to jail and served a life sentence for having killed many people knowingly with cancer or whatever they did do it? They are not human beings. They cannot be imprisoned until they can be imprisoned. Guess what? They need to be, if nothing else, we have to have the ability to decapitate them, take them over, and use the organization for good purposes instead of making more weapons and maybe causing more devastation, poisoning more areas, gold mining and putting arsenic down in the valleys below that kill all the villagers, doing all the things that big corporations do that a regular human being would go to jail for. Corporations just have to pay fines. Which is easy if you're making billions of dollars. What's well, a few million? It sounds like a lot to a common person. And then they go backdoor dealing it down to 70000 or 80000 because lo and behold, somebody's going to be nominated for office and therefore the company she works for can get a gigantic reduction from $7 million to 700000 No big deal, right? Okay, so. Please. Join with the peaceful movement to change the way the system works. We start, perhaps, by taking out the corporations as entities that have the right to do what humans are not allowed to do and to not suffer the consequences that all humans would suffer if they broke the same laws, the same rules, and did the same thing.
We're good at the point now we want biometrics so we can go ahead and get our bank account open and we can go ahead and file tax returns.